can't help it but be blessed. Shavuot is about what? That word was linked to marriage. Because this is all linked to marriage. It's a sign that you are his own bride. You see, Shavuot, also seven, stands for perfection. How do you get, you look at yourself, there's no perfection in it. But you, you, you dwell in the Spirit, and there's a perfection that is coming in your life. Your life that was messed up starts getting a perfection about it. God starts weaving all these things together. The more you walk in the Spirit, the more He starts weaving everything together. It starts, there's a perfection about it. Say, Lord, how do you take junk and make it something perfect? God, that's His business. He likes recycling. His, his business. <laughs> Completion. It will only come, you know. So there's another reason, though that this thing came on that day. It's the root word Shabbat. Why? Is the, how is that linked to marriage? Well, there's no marriage without swearing. There's no marriage. What, is, what do you watch? What is the key point of a marriage when you come in? What is the key point? The key point is when they swear to each other. That's it. That's the whole thing. They swear to each other and then we bless it. But they swear. That's the marriage. The marriage is two people who Shabbat to each other. They seven themselves to each other. They give an oath to each other. They, they vow to each other. The groom to the bride. The bride to the groom. The Shabbat means the pledge. Turn to 2 Corinthians. We bring it home now. 2 Corinthians verse, or chapter 1. And verse 21. Now it will depend on your translation here. But there's something very beautiful here. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 21, in which it is written, Now he who establishes us with you is Messiah and anointed us is God, who also sealed us and gave us the Spirit in our hearts as a pledge. A Shabbat. A pledge. What is Shavuot? It is the bridegroom giving his Shabbat, his pledge. His pledge to the bride. It is, that's why it all, it all comes together. It's his pledge. It's his vow. It's his oath. It's his God swearing to you. I will never leave or forsake you. When you receive the Spirit of God, you're receiving the pledge of God. You're receiving the vow of God, the promise of God, the swearing of God. You're receiving His assurance so you can have assurance in your life. You can be sure He loves you when you feel it or you don't. God has given you something in your life. He's given you something in your life. But it's not complete. You see, the, the bridegroom swears to the bride. But the giving is not complete until the bride swears in the same way to the groom. He has given the Spirit. He's given us salvation. He gives, He swears, says, I swear to you. When God swears, you can believe it. But it doesn't mean anything in your life until you say, I receive it and I swear to you. My, the bride swears her life, her devotion, her desires, her following. The word Shabbat, seven. You know, it mean, you know when you're engaged, it's a pledge. It means you are pledged to that person. Uh, Paul said, you are pledged to the Lord. You are pledged. If he's given you his pledge, you, the only proper response is, Lord, I pledge myself. I vow. I'm yours. I don't belong to this anymore. I don't belong to this sin anymore. I don't belong to that past anymore. I don't belong to this lust anymore. I don't belong to this idol anymore. I don't belong to this selfish thing anymore. I belong to you. You pledge yourself to me. And in the Spirit, you can do that. In the Spirit, you can let go of everything. In the Spirit, with the flesh, you can't. The Spirit, yes, Lord, you pledge, and it's enough that I have you. What, the, what she said, do di liva anilo. My beloved is mine, and I am his. So the point is, he charges you, you know, it's, you know to keep you stay pure to me. Turn, you know, when the, when, the, when the bride was engaged, she could not go out with other men. And so you need to be, he has given you his charge. The word Shabbat means to charge it char it's a pledge. And you know, that, that day was certainly a charging of God. God not only charged with His pledge, he charged, he charged them up. There is a charge that comes when you are charged with God. There's a charge of power. You want, you know, you want the joy of God. Don't say, you don't, don't say God fails because He doesn't fail. Those who are, but the thing is that you've got to do it His way. You are charged with responsibility. You're charged with power. You're charged with glory if you will be pledged to God. Those who receive the Spirit 
receive the pledge of God. That means no matter what, they are, they, there's an assurance about them. What is the spirit-filled life? Is it speaking in tongues? No, that can be part of it, but that's not it. Is it rolling in the aisle? I don't know what that is, but it could be it. I don't know. Is it swinging from the chandelier? Maybe. I don't know, but I don't know about that. But what it is, it's many things that believers think about the spiritual life is not it at all. What is it? It's a life that is pledged to him. And that is the life that has the power that we spoke about. This, it's a life that is vowed to him. It is filled with his pledge. And it is pledged to him. It's a committed life that is therefore filled with power. The, of spirit. You say, you know, well, well but I, you know, don't say he fails because he doesn't fail. If you're not living in victory, it's, there's, there's, I can tell you, he pledged himself to you. You have to pledge yourself to him. You, have, you, want, your, you want your life to be blessed? You, it's got to be a pledged life. You want your life to be, you want your thought life to be blessed? Commit your thoughts to God. You want your money to be blessed? Commit your money to God. You want your, your relationships to be blessed? Commit your relationships to God. You want the Spirit to fill, you commit that to God. It's not going to fill what's not committed. He, he, it's His commitment to you. He's good. His, it's guaranteed. There's no, there's no question about God. It's only about us. You want to be blessed? Commit your way to God and you'll prosper. Commit everything to God. God is blessing so much us. He's, he's just opening these doors, you know. And He's just saying, I'm going to open the door. Every time I open it, I want you to walk through it. I don't want you to question it. Just go. Go. I've given you my word. Just go. You want to be blessed? Just go. There's no greater adventure than the Great Commission. There's no greater joy than walking in the Spirit. There's just not. And so, but you want the blessings. You mean it with God, and God will bless you. How do you celebrate Shavuot? God is saying, I am committed to you. I'm committed to you. You know, when thing, you know, you got, a, you got a warranty, God is the warranty in your life. Things break down, I'm committed to you. I'm committed to you. I am pledged to you. My life is yours, God is saying. The God, God who is greater than the universe and all riches that you could ever have says, my life is yours. I'm giving you, I'm not, I'm not giving you most of my life. I'm giving you all of my life. I'm not giving you most of my love. I'm giving you all of my love. Now that's big. That means a lot. So the, just to grasp a little piece of that power changes our lives. But we have to be the same. He did it first. Therefore, Lord, you committed, you, my beloved, you gave me everything. I can do no less. I am committed to you. Dodi Lee, my beloved, is mine, and I am his. And that's when the two come together, the two pledges come together, you got fireworks. When, you got, when, the, when the bride and groom pledge each other, you got marriage, you got life. When his pledge comes with your pledge, and listen, your pledge is a lot weaker than his no matter how good it is, but it's got to be real. You got to be, you don't have to, you know, you're going to mess up. His pledge is what's going to keep you. But you got to give all. You got to say yes all. Yes all. I am pledged to you. I'm, you know, you pick me up. The present, live by the Spirit, and you will be filled with the encouragement of God. You'll be an encouraged person. You'll be a person who will be filled with the beauty of God. You'll be filled with the power of his might. Walk by the Spirit, and you will be led by joy. Live by the Spirit, you will be living a life of fullness, completion, and power, and joy. It is the Lord's Shabbat. God says, I will be true to you. You be true to me. You just say, yeah, I said yes to you. You say yes to me, and I will make it happen. That is the power. That is His pledge, and by which He assures you, I will never leave or forsake you. You are mine, says the Lord, and I am yours. I'm with you always. Now go forth, the Lord says, in my power, and you will be blessed, and I will bless you even to the end of the age. And that is the mystery of Shavuot.